Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird. I'm here with a bit of Minecraft news for today, but also another mod spotlight. It's a little dark out here. The moon's are very beautiful, and the stars, the way they work in 1.3 now, are brighter and smaller, but it's a little too dark out here for my tasting, and there's too many monsters around. So I'm going to show you this mod that I just started messing with, and it's been around for a little bit. It's called Dynamic Lights. Now, say you don't want to place torches everywhere. I don't necessarily like the look of torches all over an area, especially with like a build, but with dynamic lights you can switch and hold a torch and look, it has a radius that it glows around it. Now this mod will work on some multiplayer servers, but not all. Like for example, I tried to use it on Scotland and it wouldn't let me log in. But it is multiplayer friendly and when other people hold torches and certain things like this, uh, you can still see it. Now this also works with some other items like a, the uh, redstone uh, light here, torch. Also just normal redstone when you're holding it. Glowstone, glowstone dust, and then in my inventory here I've got two more. The pumpkin uh, lit, which actually has a pretty big radius comparable to like the torch, and the lava bucket, which also is pretty bright too. Now if you put any of these items, the ones that I just listed with brightness, in one of your first four item slots, I believe, oh, or it was doing it earlier, if you put it in one of the item slots that's early on, I think it might be the first three then. Oh, now it's doing it with the four. There, either it's glitching or I found that in one of the first item slots you can put it and it will stay lit up even if you're not using it, which is kind of cool. Just makes me a weird little glowing person makes my shirt look like, like it's made of lights or something. But anyways, it's just a cool little thing. And also, I was going to show you guys, uh, if you haven't seen this, if you play on a server with creative mode and you place a furnace down, you can do a little something when you put some fuel in it. Now, let's try to cook some fish here. So put the fuel in here and cook the fish. Now, use your pick block command on this, the furnace. And now when you place the furnace that you picked with the block, you'll have a lit furnace that will permanently be burning. If you've watched uh, Zach's videos more recently in Spawn, there's one of these ever-burning furnaces right in there. So that's a little tip thing. I was just thinking about that when we were talking about lights. But let's do a little exploring here on this seed, and we'll talk about the news. Now, this is Minecraft 1.4 news. Dinnerbone, uh, one of the developers, has started working on a feature that was suggested uh, I think about 10 months ago by user Rapid Penguin and he's using two of the, the features that Rapid Penguin uh, suggested on Reddit. Now the first one, I'll throw some screenshots here, this is an item frame. I don't know exactly what it's going to be called but probably something like that item frame and it allows you to place things like swords, bows, armor, any of that, I think almost any item, you see potions and splash potions on the right there, any of that stuff can be put in the frame and displayed on the wall. Now if he follows Rapid Penguin's original design for this, then uh, you're going to be able to place the frame on the wall and then you put the item in the frame and when you hit the frame the item will fall out for easy access. This will make it so that if you have like a fishing rod, for example, you can put that near your fishing pond or area, and you don't have to have a chest there just to keep that rod, you know, by itself for one item. Stuff like that. Now the next screenshot here is really interesting because it shows that when you place a map in a frame, it actually shows the map. And same with the compass, but the compass will point towards spawn or wherever the compass is pointing towards in the same way. And now this also works for clocks, so the items won't just be static when you place them. They'll have properties to them, which is pretty cool. You can make a map of the area and put it on the wall, that sort of thing. And here is a third screenshot that Darren Bowden posted to answer a lot of questions. And in this one, he shows that swords and probably other items can be placed at different angles. So you could make like swords hanging on the walls that almost look like they're like crossed and you see the clock is changing there. The pumpkin actually uses its 3D texture that it would look like basically in your hand I think is what it would kind of look like in the frame. And then on the left there you see the picture frame but below it looks like that's going to be what the item frame looks like when you're using it, you know, holding it before you place it. And this fourth screenshot here, there's a lot of news on these. <laughs> Jeb actually went in and helped him tweak it, 
And in these ones, you can see a good example of the 3D like items popping out of the frame with the ender chest, fence, and sticky piston there. But also Jeb added kind of a what looks like leathery uh, background to the frame to make it a little more defined, and the item kind of con contrasts it a lot. Uh, I, I'm assuming that if it does do Rapid Penguin's original recipe, which is sticks made in like a chest uh, formation, like eight on the outside, you'll probably need to use leather in the middle with the way that Jeb has tweaked it. Now this is still a work in progress, so who knows what's going to happen with that. And this last screenshot here is actually Rapid Penguin's mock-up. Now this shows the frame that he originally designed, that Dinnerbone uh, used that suggestion. And on the right, there is some, an extra item too, a flower pot. Now this is his mock-up in showing how you can place a flower pot and how you would probably make it and place flowers and cactus and different stuff in it for display so they wouldn't break like you could put them on different stuff as a decoration and Dinnerbone mentioned that he is going to make this as well we don't have any shots yet of what Dinnerbone's version of the flower pot looks like but we can only assume it'll be similar because look how similar that item frame is to what Dinnerbone ended up doing now these are really cool I can, I can see uh, people immediately making texture packs where the frame is just non-existent and the swords would and different items would just display on the wall which is kind of what I would prefer I like the frame for certain things like the map but I would almost like to have the sword just kinda hang on the wall by itself uh, you know without a frame there it would look cooler and I was talking with Mac on from, from Scotland and uh, I thought it would be cool to <laughs> take some of uh, some of the people that she's gotten banned on the server, or just like you could do this with mobs too, like replace in a texture pack some of the blocks. Like take a block that you might never use that often, like uh, say like a lapis block or something. You could take that and replace the texture with like a zombie or a creeper's head, and then mount that on your wall, and it looks like a trophy that you <laughs> you've gotten from killing a creeper or something. But I thought it would be funny if Mac had a wall full of the heads of all the band pl people she's gotten banned from the server. <laughs> but we'll see if we end up doing that. Anyways, there's just a lot of cool potential with this for displaying stuff. And it and it's cool because these mainly are aesthetic. Oh, there's a jungle temple over here. But they also have other uses, I think, in the fact that you can just have an item that you want, like a, an emergency sword right near your door, and then just pop that off if, if you die and need to get back to your corpse. And you could have a full set of armor or something, like just have stuff that you can easily pick up and put on without having to go into a chest and do things. So I think it's kind of cool. I like that sort of thing. I'm hoping eventually they'll do a 3D armor display, like a suit of armor, but who knows. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I'm just flying around this jungle. Maybe I'll finish by going in this temple here. But that's pretty much it for updates. This is just stuff that came out today. Minecraft 1.4 development. Maybe we'll see that in the snapshot, possibly tomorrow. So, thanks for watching guys. 1.3.2 is actually coming up soon if you didn't know because they're fixing a glitch with the nether that actually caused you to fall through uh, the, the, when you go through a portal you would fall through the world and lose all your items frequently. So be careful if you're playing on 1.3.1 and you frequent the nether because that could happen to you and it's a, a bummer you know, if you lose all your shit. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time with more Minecraft updates. Goodbye.